Like so many others, I had become a slave to the IKEA nesting instinct. Uh, yes, I'd like to order the Erica Picari dust ruffles. If I saw something clever, like a little coffee table in the shape of a yin yang, I had to have it. The Klipsk personal office unit, the Hovatrek home exerbike, or the Ohanashav sofa with the string green stripe pattern. Even the Rizlampa wire lamps of environmentally friendly, unbleached paper. I'd flip through catalogs and wonder, what kind of dining set defines me as a person? If you were seated in an emergency exit room, yeah. and feel you would be unable or unwilling to perform the duties listed on the safety card, please ask a flight attendant to reseat you. It's a lot of responsibility. Want to switch seats? No, I'm not sure I'm the man for that particular job. An exit door procedure at 30,000 feet. Mm-hmm. The illusion of safety. Yeah, I guess so. You know why they put oxygen masks on planes? So you can breathe. Oxygen mask is only to relax you because you're going to die. <laughs> it does not help you. You don't need oxygen when you're falling. <laughs> Suddenly you become euphoric, docile. You accept your fate. It's all right here. Ow. Do it, get up, take it over. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. No one can stop you. There's no, there's no police on the plane. That's, um, that's an interesting theory. What do you do? What do you mean? What do you do for a living? Why? So you can pretend like you're interested. <laughs> okay. You have a kind of sick desperation in your life. We have the exact same briefcase. Soap. Sorry? I make and I sell soap. The yardstick of civilization. And this is how I met Tyler Durden. If you ask me now, I couldn't tell you why I called him. Girls night! Girls night! Do you know what a duvet is? Comforter. It's a blanket. Just a blanket. Now, why do guys like you and I know what a duvet is? Is this essential to our survival in the hunter-gatherer sense of the word? No. What are we then? Salary man. Chain smoking, binge drinking salary men. We are byproducts of a lifestyle obsession. Murder, crime, poverty, these things don't concern me. What concerns me are celebrity magazines. It's staring bold faced capitalism in the face. And saying, yes, and be saying, the cop. I have nothing. It's, it's like I my, cannot thwart. My you. meaning is to be the cop. Like I, I want to get to my really short lunch break and then just smoke cigarettes instead well, of may, eating. May. That's me. And I could be wrong. Maybe it's a terrible tragedy. Uh, it's, just, it's like badass. It's raw. It's, it's raw. It's, it's, it's like it's, it's like depressing. You know how there's yeah. the void, right, of like death and like the end of your life and stuff. This is like a living void, and it's kind of me and Aiden. For some reason, we fuck, yeah. think it's fucking cool. What? Yeah, we're gonna be together forever. Forever. That's be what we're gonna be you. Be, be me and you. But do what you like, man. Oh, oh, it's late. Hey, thanks for the beer. Yeah, man. Okay. We should find a hotel. Oh. What? What? A hotel. Yeah. Just ask, man. What are you talking about? <laughs> Three pitches of beer, and you still can't ask. What? You called me because you needed a place to stay. 
Oh, hey, hey, no, no, no. Yes, you I, did. I didn't mean... So just ask. Cut the foreplay and just ask, man. Would, would that be a problem? Is it a problem for you to ask? Can I stay at your place? Yeah. Thanks. I want you to do me a favor. Yeah, sure. I want you to hit me as hard as you can. What? I want you to hit me as hard as you can. What do you want me to do? You just want me to hit you. Come on. Do me just one favor. Do you th can I throw a punch? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 100%. Like a strong one? Uh, yeah. Do you want me to try to punch you in the yeah, stomach? Not the stomach, the arm. Oh. Try punching like, me in the arm. really hard? Yeah. Can I punch you in the arm? No, I want oh, him to do okay. it. Okay. Well, how do you want practice? It? He wants just it. Punch Give it me. to him. Just how would you punch me if you had to punch me? All right. Don't say how do you want do you, it? Like really hard or what? Yeah, just punch me. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> punch me hard. Yeah. All right. <laughs> when men sure get your bored. Stance is set. Wait yeah. for that. Wait for that PTZ to go up there. All right. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, when I was in high school or maybe middle school, no, it was high school. When I was in high school, some guys in my school started a fight club. Yes. And they would they would all meet at this guy Christian's house and we'd go in his garage and then there'd be a big circle of people and then someone would be like, yeah, you two have a fight now. Go, did you ever scrap? Yeah, did you ever fight? Yeah, yeah, I, I got in one fight. I won my one fight. How'd you win it? By punching the other guy more and harder than I was punching. Wow. Oh, Can I be next? Alright man, lose the tie. If you could fight any celebrity, who would you fight? Fucking pray to God, I never come across Olivia, bro. I hit her with that right hook. <laughs> and Mike instantly is like, oh, I sleep Olivia Rodrigo. <laughs> And there's this, there's just this guy in the elevator, like a random guy. And then, like while the elevator is going up, we just start talking about like four rounds out, done, not even a problem, not even a thing. It's like we put her up on stilts. <laughs> was this before I was with you guys? <laughs> yeah. Uh, people were irate that you never told your Republican girl story, dude. Okay. This I <laughs> all right. People were mad because we 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 talked about it. And what a tease to go! Hey, is that that story where you had sex with that Republican? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then we just reason roll. And then we just roll by it. Yeah, we so, skipped it. And if I can set the stage a little bit, I'm not going to spoil anything. Please. But this is in the era where Anthony lived and slept in my closet. He isn't exaggerating, by the way, because I, I I never got to see it in person, but oh, I saw the photos. The bad. And it's like a yeah, it's like a pantry closet, and the floor was filled. <laughs> Every inch like of the floor stuff. is filled there, by the bed and Anthony's stuff. Is, and then he just sleeps between like, like shelves. A, like a pad. <laughs> so I, I matched with this girl on Tinder and um, she was like 25 or something. She's, she's, she's 2017. Pretty. Trump's in the White House. Trump is in the White House. And she's like, she's pretty cute. And I'm like, okay, cool. And so we end up meeting at this boba place. Um, and we, we sit down and we start like, you know, having a conversation the way you do. And um, like Eamon had said before on the podcast, I'm a great date. You know, I'm yeah. very, I'm very fun and I make joke and, you know, connect and all that stuff. And so, OK, the first for, thing was wrong was when she said, you're real like Jordan Peterson. <laughs> <laughs> and, then she, and she walked in the boba shop and said, I love this oriental spot. Yeah. No, <laughs> you got the best zingers well, like Ben Shapiro. <laughs> you, you I mean, you joke. But like so here was the first red flag. She, we start talking and stuff, and then this is around the time like Moana came out, and I remember we were just talking like talking about movies, and I was like, oh, I saw Moana. I was like, actually, I didn't really like it because that's true. I, I thought it was like not the best, you know, whatever animated movie. Uh huh. And um, and she's like, yeah, you know what? Me neither. I I have <laughs> oh, <laughs> finally oh, someone says oh. it. <laughs> she dead ass says this. She's like, she and I I didn't like how everyone made so much of a big deal how they were um. And she's searching for the words. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> and she, she lands on colored. Oh, oh dude. God. And I'm like. <laughs> That's the fat renders to tell us to float to the surface. Like in Boy Scouts. Hard to imagine you as a Boy Scout. Keep stirring. Once the towel hardens, you can skim off a layer of glycerin. If you were to add nitric acid, you got nitroglycerin. You would then add sodium nitrile, dash the sawdust. 
You got dynamite. Yeah, with enough soap, one could blow up just about anything. But she's really pretty. And, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> and it's been a while. And it's the been a while. The person who dated Adolf Hitler. <laughs> she, she's like, we, we go out to Denny. She's like, you know what I haven't gone to in a while is a drive-in. And there's a drive-in where, you know, near we, where we are. And I was like, yeah, me neither. I was like, like five years old. I saw the Batman movie where he had the nipple. <laughs> and um, and it, it, it's, it's striking me now where she kind of took me to a place that was very Americana, right? She took me to Denny's. And then she took me to a drive-in. Yeah. Like she, she was very attracted to this idea of like an American good this time. This is like the Republican Midsommar. <laughs> Great band. We, we have sex and, um, you know, and we finish up and we watch the movie and it's, it's, it's fine. And uh, we end up like packing up and it seems fine. And so we're driving back, dude. And here's where it gets really weird. So she's taking me back to the Denny's, and it's a bit of a drive from the Denny's to the Wait, drive. Why is she going to the Denny's? Because my car was there. Okay. Because uh, we took her. <laughs> I'm car. hungry again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I'm gonna, and if that guy's there, I swear <laughs> to God. And so fucking go back to Denny's, and uh, while on the way, we're on like the ten, and it's really late, and she starts fucking, dude. I was, I was, I thought I was gonna die. She's driving. She's driving like, uh, she she had just got her car. And she's like, I love having like a new car. It means I can like, I can just like abuse it, right? I can speed. Right, so true. And though. we're still talking, and we're still talking and shit. And she starts bringing up like the police and like police, uh, you know, how dangerous their job is. Yeah. And this is this is where I start giving some static, where I'm like, yeah, I don't know. I think that I I think that their job might be hard, but I think they're in a position of power. And I'm still like, yeah, I, I don't, I, I do think that there's a lot of problems with the way that that we police things. And she starts getting really heated, and she's like, but it's just not fair. Like they, they just go, they, they get put up, put through so much, and you know, people, and they get killed, and all this shit. I'm like, yeah, you know, and I'm just like, I back up because I'm like, oh whatever. <laughs> but while we're having this conversation, she's doing like 95. Oh my god. And she's going, she's in. <laughs> she's the, like, so, so like, so like, you're, you, you, you agree with me, right? She's like going faster. It's like, well, I don't. She's like, you agree with me, right? She's going right? really fast, and she start, She just. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, well, I'll, I'll go on It's like Fight Club, but Tyler Durden is like a racist Republican girl. <laughs> you would have died right now. How would you feel about your life? I don't know. I wouldn't feel anything good about my. life. Life. Is that what you want to hear me say? Fine. Come on. Not good enough. Stop fucking around. Tyler! Jesus Christ. God damn it. God damn it. Fuck you. Fuck Fight Club. Fuck Marla. I am sick of all your shit. Okay, man. Okay. Quit screwing around. Take the oh, wheel. Look at you. Take the wheel. Look right? at you. You're fucking pathetic. Why? Why? What are you talking about? Why do you think I blew up your condo? What? Hitting bottom isn't a weekend retreat. It's not a goddamn seminar. Stop trying to control everything and just let go. Let go! All right, fine. Part of me, in this period of my life, I'm like, you know what? Fuck it, right? Like, if this happens, it happens. I'm not going to- That, I'm not, period, that period of our lives. I'm not gonna, yeah. I'm not gonna give her this. I'm not gonna say that I'm scared because part of me feels like she wants me to. I, ref I, I respect that. You know, so I'm like, yeah, all right. And, uh, and <laughs> what, finally- are you afraid of guns, pussy liberal boy? <laughs> Dude, are you afraid of going fast? Ludwig swing, swings both ways. Un, unironically, I have asked him dead ass. Really? Yeah. Did you ask him this after he shaved his head? No, I asked him this after he made out with Aiden at a club. <laughs> I am devastated. <laughs> I would see her on Bumble like a couple weeks later 
and her shit said no liberals. <laughs> what? <laughs> Like that. Are you a floor? Our wife, by chance. <laughs>